So in a sense, psychologically, when you're talking about postmodernists and their rejection of these classic male structures, or what they're doing is realizing that they're not going to compete in the, the classic, as stated, male hierarchy, so they're creating their own version of it. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's the creative element. Sure. Well, we, we, you, we asked earlier, what's the motivation of these pathological guys who are out there, like, bolstering up the feminists? Yeah, well, you know... They don't compete any other way. They don't compete. They figured out how to compete. They compete as allies, let's say. Mm hmm Very sneaky. Wow. Yeah, wow. Sneaky. Yeah. And that's how everybody always describes him, too. When you, I mean, it's almost like a, you, we, I avoid doing it because I just, it just almost feels gross to label them like that. But mm -hmm. that's, that is the way you think of male feminists. You think mm -hmm. of them as sneaky. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, yeah. And, it's creepy. And discriminat uh, discriminatory towards classic male behavior. Yeah, well, and no wonder. Yeah. They haven't got a hope of competing in that hierarchy. Wow. That's deep. That is deep. This is going to be hurtful to a lot of people there's a lot of people listening to this right now very upset yeah very, well very you triggered. know you you asked earlier why why <laughs> the postmodernists don't like blunt speech yeah that's well why. that's why man you yeah. know it's like the truth is something that burns it burns off dead wood and people don't like having their dead wood burnt off often because they're like 95 percent dead wood and, and i'm not being I'm, believe me i'm not being snide about that it's no joke when you start to realize how much of what you've constructed of yourself is based on deception and, and lies, that is a horrifying realization. And it can easily be 95% of you. The things you say, things you act out, you know, it's... Well, you see that in Pinocchio, which I often you discuss, you know, Pinocchio, when he gets corrupt as he, as he matures, he first learns to lie, and then he becomes a braying jackass on Pleasure Island. It's like, and, and he's threatened by the underground authoritarians, right? They're going to sell him to the salt mines. It's like, yeah, that's for sure. It's exactly right, man. So then you figure out you're a brain jackass and you're lying all the time. That's a terrible realization. And then all that needs to be burnt away. And the people don't like that. 